This is a Tesla Model X, and as you can see, the guys behind us are busy doing a full XBEL XR Plus Nano Ceramic Tin for maximum heat rejection, maximum UV protection, maximum privacy, maximum durability, and the ultimate and best of window tinting here at Texas Tint Master. Squeegee that. understand the importance of getting nano ceramic tint on a Tesla, we first have to test out how it compares to regular tint. And we're going to do that today with an infrared heat bulb that puts out heat. This little meter measures the heat, so the higher the number, the hotter it is, the lower the number, the less energy is coming through. Now I have here this sample. This has 5% regular tint. This has the clear and ceramic, completely different shades, but watch the numbers as we put them in front of this heat lamp. This is a regular tint and we're reading 394 BTUs, British thermal units, drop the regular tint, and it brings it down slightly, slide over to the clear ceramic. We're having a much lower number. Back to regular tint, and then the full meter. Now, for those that are watching who may not understand what BTUs are, we're gonna convert this over to percentage. So I'm gonna hit the percentage button, and now if you look at it, it's reading percentage 100 because I've just reset it, and watch the number as I put the regular tint blocks 8% of heat, and then this is a clear ceramic. It's blocking 77, back to 8%, and back to 100. That's the difference between regular tint and ceramic tint, and the darker you go with the ceramic, the numbers get even better. Now let's go take a look at it on this Tesla. Squeegee that. This is Xbell's XR Plus 20% on the front two doors. Now let's run that heat test that we saw before. Here's the heat lamp, and this is a meter. We're gonna do this in the raw units, BTUs, holding it right there, sliding it right over here. Huge drop in the numbers, back to the normal, sliding it back in here. Now I'm gonna get a little bit closer to see what other readings we get for any fluctuations, but still a big difference. Now I'm gonna take this into percentage so that we can understand percentages. That's P, percentage 100, sliding it right over, moving it around for fluctuation. It's very little energy coming through. We're bringing it back right back out. See, it's a lot higher number. Let me reset that one again, one more time. P100, sliding it over. It's blocking out over 98% of the solar heat coming through, and that's why XBEL XR Plus is such a popular tent for Teslas in Houston, Texas. Now you know why. Squeegee that. One of the other things that we did is we did the full entire front windshield from the bottom all the way through the top in one single sheet. There is no seams on it. This is a complete full install, seamless install that we did here at Texas Tent Masters. Now, although this is an impressive feat for us to do, what's more impressive is the actual heat rejection numbers, which we're gonna look and test right now. Again, this is a famous heat lamp. This is a meter right here. When we're gonna measure the raw numbers in BTUs. Now I'm gonna keep this distance right here as I slide through it. We're gonna go, this is the numbers here, sliding all the way through. And then I'm gonna get a little bit closer just to fluctuate the numbers. But we're into lower digits, single digits at times. We're bringing it right, keep that distance here, bringing it back out this way. And you see that big difference in the numbers again, right there. This is with XBEL's XR Plus 70% on the full entire front windshield of this Tesla Model X.